Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Build Ninja Monthly. Today we'll be taking a look at news submissions from December to January, from custom minifigures to an entire custom series to full-scale Ninjago mocks. Today we'll be taking a look at some of your best creations. I'm doing this all in one take by the way, and this is a new series, so let's just see how this goes. Alright, first off we have the submission from the Half-Brained Bean about Dark Ice Zane. So this happens after the merge when Zane lands in an unknown city, but this city was pretty advanced. And basically the story goes like Zane is, he takes it upon himself to clear the city of all the, the bad people. And it's a very typical ninja thing to do, but I really like this figure. Like he went all out on the blue, um, he or she went all out on the blue uh, with the Mia Dragon's Rising head wrap piece used for Zane, which is pretty good, pretty creative, I didn't think of that. And I like how he used the same uh, color of blue on the pants, and you can see like the maroon boots and the, the blue pants. What pants are those? That's Spider-Man. Or is that a superhero? I'm not sure, but it looks pretty cool. And you even used the... what is it? 501st Clone Trooper torso. It's like abandoned police armor. Really nice. You even have that hint of blue there. Really good choice uh, for Zayn. Looks like he just picked up random pieces of armor and uh, made a really cool suit out of it. So really good job. And that weapon as well. We can't see the whole thing, but it looks like a piece of scrap metal and it's really fitting for this story. Um, go check out the Half-Brained Bean. Go subscribe to him. Check out um, the full story on his community post. Yeah. Okay, next submission from Brick Bricks Multi. So I heard Radio DJ Robot is doing a series. Yes, I am doing a series. Which checks out custom minifigures. Yeah, that's perfect. So he submitted two minifigures. This is Dragon Powered Kai. Here are two pictures of him. And you can see that he used the um, Legacy Kai head wrap. And the torso piece from Macy. I believe this is from the um, the third wave of Nexo Knights, and Macy is a red knight in Nexo Knights. Um, in that wave, they got golden armor, which looks pretty cool. Like it's like technology inspired. Very, very nice. Um, and actually, he made a series about this. Yeah, so he, he made um, a series about this character, Dragon Power Kai. And I think it's nearing the end of the series. I watched it, by the way. Um, and Lloyd is basically getting defeated which is pretty sad, and Kai unlocks something within him, a dragon power of sorts, which is always a very nice Ninjago story. And then he also submitted Miles Morales. I like Miles Morales a lot, I love Spider-Verse, and um, he did a lot of cool things here, so he dripped them out a lot. Those feet pieces, I'm not too sure where the legs came from, but the shoes look really awesome, I like the shoe detailing. Very good use of the, um, yeah, that, that leg piece. We have the standard Miles Morales torso, but he also used Scott's um, head wrap. Scott is from season 12 of Ninjago Prime Empire, and he has this hood piece. Uh, the hood piece was made for him, actually. So really nice, really good job. Go subscribe to Brick Bricks Multi. I'm linking all of these people in the description, by the way, if you want to check them out. You should check them out. Okay, next we have Sharky. Now, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with what you've done here, Sharky. Um, he released a 30 minute video and he made an entire CMF series for Ninjago. You can see that this is the title of his video. I created a custom Lego Ninjago series, season one, episode one. He is releasing one video every month. So maybe this will become a regular feature here on Build Ninja Monthly. Or you could just watch him himself, really. Yeah, you could just go and watch Sharky yourself. Yeah, you should. And um. So I looked at all the minifigures and I don't want to spoil the fun because you should watch the video yourself. But here are four um, of his custom minifigures that I really like. First we have this one. Now this may look like just a regular Zane custom but you'll notice that the head has no printing. Because what actually happened as he explained in this video was um, he didn't have any of the silver uh, Zane faces. So the silver Zane face began in uh, season 4 with Tournament, when Zane became the Titanium Ninja. It started then, and it's continued until now. And he hasn't gotten a silver face, but he has a silver hair. So what he did was he just got a blank silver face. I think this is really a really good way of the of showing the Build Ninja mission. To build things with zero dollars, if you know what I'm talking about, that's great. 
But yeah, always be creative with your stuff. And use some Stormtrooper parts, really cool. Now this one is Rocky Danger Buff. Yeah, that's cool basically. And you you can tell straight away, like if I didn't show you this picture, you can tell straight away that it's cool. Right, you can see he used the Ninjago movie um, torso and he replaced the, 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 the arms, I mean the hands. Yeah, really, you can just get the overall vibe and it's a really good custom given how it's using all old pieces. Okay. The third one, this is an Elemental Master, looks really cool. Um, that torso there is from Ultimate Spider-Man, I believe. That headpiece is from some Star Wars Rebels. And he used two capes actually on this one. So there's the plastic cape you can see, and then the black cloth cape. It's the new Elemental Master he made. You should check out the video, I'm not even kidding. Okay, and finally this is, um, yeah, this is his rendition, his version of Lar. So Lar is L-A-R. He was, he's a non-canon person, but someone that I like to consider canon. He's um, a fake elemental master of water. And this is um, Sharky's um, take on him. So really good. I see the climbing gear and you got the aesthetic really well. All right, so thank you. Now, I think this is the uh, second last submission. So our fourth one, we have Travis Studios. Now Travis Studios, as you can see here, he made an entire Ninjago City modular. Get ready, it's... Look at that. He, it's tall, it's big, you can really tell it was intended to be a Ninjago City modular. And he said he included a lot of Prime Empire Easter eggs. So, first at the top right hand corner, you can see like... There's Digikai there. I mean Avatar Kai. You can see Prime Empire minifigs, you can see a League of Jigai in the top right hand corner there. Uh, you see a Kitana in the middle. I'm going down to the second floor now. You have Racer 7. That's a custom Racer 7, I believe. He used them. Um, whose hair is that? I'm not sure where that hair piece is from, but it, it I can tell it's Racer 7. On the left, you've got a Samurai. Like one of the successful Samurais. A lot of the Prime Empire skins are based on that. And then you've got Okino. Then, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, there's Okino. Here's just another look at it. It's all in his community post. Um, and then this is Okino's sushi shop. You can see the sushi sticks. He actually printed out pieces of paper, which is a really good idea. So um, go subscribe to Travis Studios. Oh, and also, I forgot to say this. You should go support Sharky as well. Yeah, go support everyone in this video. And finally, we have Lava Ninja. He, he, um... He, he contacted me saying he had something to work on and so I'm really happy to see it. So he has a, an entire backstory. I really like backstories and actual lore given to the to the build, which everyone has done, which is really amazing. So it's about this dude. Later, do, later you'll find out he's like um, a time traveling guy. Yeah, you'll see later. Um, it's about this guy, he lives in a distant realm working on a portal that can allow you to alter the past. And then he combined it with the merge, so Dragon's Rising stuff, really cool. It's like adding canon, like all these stories are just adding new dimensions to the story. There's really so many different tales you can tell. And there's a researcher, he's held captive by the villain, forced to look into ancient books. Reminds me of um, Dr. Julian, Zane's father. Yeah, but he actually made a minifigure for the villain, the time guy. He made a minifigure for the researcher, he made some cool custom ninja. Oh yeah, he made an entire video on it, so I'll link that below as well. You should watch that. So these are the three custom minifigures. Lots of different parts. Um, you can see he's tried to make a Dragon's Rising... Like, he's tried to alter the Dragon's Rising suits to show that it's from the merge. Really nice uh, use of the armor pieces, especially Kai. Uh, Kai is really nice because you have the... What is it? The special armor piece that was debuted for the Stone Army. Legacy Stone Army. And it fits with that mask piece. Really nice. And Lloyd, I see that you've printed a new torso onto him, which is really good. You switched out his arms. Very creative customs I've seen today. All so good. And this is the villain, the time guy. So he's used, um, I believe this is Thor's suit from the advent calendar. Yeah, it is. And then um, you can see a clock down there to show like the time traveling stuff. You see spring-loaded shooters up there. And that red helmet is from Star Wars. I believe it's the... Oh, Sith Troopers, there's a battle pack for that. I think you got it from there. 
Really cool villain, by the way. And he made an entire temple, which uh, the villain stays in. It's very time themed. You can see the clock on top, and it has an entirely furnished back. But um, I won't go into detail. You should watch his video to see what's in there. And this is another mock he made that he featured in the video. It's like a very cool lava place. Yeah, fire. Okay. Yeah. All right. So thank you everyone so much for watching Build Ninja Monthly. I really, really enjoyed all these submissions. It's so good seeing how creative people are. And I'll just say that um, for the next month of February, we'll be doing this again. So please do send me your submissions. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like if you're caught off guard, I announced this on the community tab. I'm very active there. So go take a look at the community tab where all the announcements, all the action is happening. I post quizzes and all kinds of really fun stuff, even small builds I'm working on sneak peeks for the next video. Thank you for watching this episode of Do Ninja Monthly, the first episode. I hope you like it and I will continue with this regardless of how it turns out because I really want to share creations with the Ninjago community. I'll see you on the next episode in February, but also in the, in, uh, the videos that are coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching and uh, really looking forward to your submissions for the next one.